What's up everyone? So we have a lot of boxes here that just came in and I've been getting a lot of questions from people saying, hey, did all 11 of your Stussies ship? As you guys saw in my last episode, I managed to get 11 checkouts of the Stussies while on an airplane and having literally no control over my server or cyber. In this episode, I'm going to show you what has arrived, what didn't arrive, and what that looked like. So as you can see here, we have obviously another mountain of boxes. A few more packages here. I think these are from Supreme. And then one other one there in the corner, I think that is from Packer. I actually feel like these packages are blocking my light. Okay, much better. So first of all, guys, I just wanna say thank you so much for all the engagement on the last video. That video got almost 5,000 views. I think it's at like 4,900 right now. So thank you guys so much for watching that. I really appreciate it. You guys absolutely demolished that like button. We got over 300 likes on that video. Thank you guys so much for that and all the comments in the description. I appreciate the condolences that everyone gave me. If you guys do like this content, please make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as this really helps me out and this puts my videos in the recommendations for other viewers out there that like to see this type of stuff so if you can go ahead and do that now also guys thank you guys for following me on twitter my twitter is botter builder i'm kind of trying to grow that a little bit now and i think we gained like 30 or 40 followers in the last episode so i really appreciate you guys that have joined it and thank you for everyone who is a new subscriber we did gain over 200 new subscribers on that last episode so again i cannot thank you guys enough for being a part of the botter builder nation thank you guys but let's go ahead and get into this episode so before i go into this huge unboxing i do want to cover a couple of things first the first one being i want to cover what my best top three favorite cops of the entire year was now this doesn't necessarily have to be the most resellable i actually have two of those three right here with me right now so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what i thought was my best top three cops of the entire year let's check them out the first one here is from nike i did hit these for retail let's open up the box and see what it is yes everyone we did get the chunky donkeys for retail i honestly i was shocked whenever i got the notification vacation for these it's funny because the night before I was sitting there with my wife and her friend and I said hey guys we've got these shoes coming out tomorrow they're worth a lot of money I'm just telling you guys if I happen to hit on them I'll take both you guys out to eat and then the next morning I ended up hitting I'm not gonna lie I was kind of hoping they forgot that I made that comment but they didn't forget they were like all right well you owe us dinner so we had 150 dollars dinner and unfortunately i had to pay for it <laughs> but i think this is the coolest thing i got these in a size nine i decided to hold on to these i wanted to hold them for at least a year and surprisingly the value has kind of gone down on them but i think here in the next year or so we may actually see these go back up just because whoops it's not much capital out of my pocket. I only spent 100 bucks on them. Hopefully we can see these rise over 2000 and if they do, that's when I'll probably look to sell them. Second best cop of the year, in my opinion for me, was the Jordan Union here. I actually live cop this. I think it was like episode two or three, right when I got into YouTube. And I was able to hit on these manually, like most people. I don't know if any bots actually worked that day. But I was so shocked that I was able to get these. I actually, looking back now, wish I would have gone for the guavas, but I wanted this particular colorway because I really wanted to see it in person. But now that I have it, I think I actually would have worn the guavas just because uh, this one, although it is my size, I just can't see myself wearing it. I think it's super cool, but it's more of like a trophy piece for me. It's not really a, a something I think I would wear. This is something that I want to hold on to until, I don't know, probably another nine months just to see where the prices go. I only spent 270 on them. I feel like they're going for like 650, 700 right now, and that's just uh, not enough to me to want to get rid of them. Hopefully we can see these hit a thousand plus. If they do, that's probably when I'll unload them. Now you guys are probably going to be surprised by my third pick here, but I thought long and hard about this and it, just hear me out. My third best cop of the year, I don't even own a pair of them anymore, but in my opinion, they were the Jordan Flints. I never was into foot side spotting at all, and I had a buddy of mine say, hey, I really want these shoes. So I said, sure, I'll run them up for you. So I ran just a few tasks on foot sites, and I hit his pair in like 30 seconds. And I was like, man, that was really easy. I wasn't expecting that. There was no capture. There wasn't any weird stuff. So then I got on StockX and I noticed that size 12 flints were selling for like 280, 290. 
and they seemed impossible for manual users. So I went ahead and ran up a bunch of tasks, had around 15 checkouts, and then I stopped. Well, all these flints started coming in and I noticed how easy it was to sell them. I continued to buy off all these restocks. I must have had 35 of these things delivered and I was selling them instantly. I would say my total profit for all those flints was upwards of $2,000. And that's really what got me into foot side spotting because really I had never even looked at it before. So because of that, that really opened up my eyes and opened a door to not only Shopify, which was the only thing I focused on back then, but open it up to foot sites. As I know a lot of you are probably like, well, why didn't you do that to begin with? I don't know, I, I was new to botting. <laughs> All right guys, that is my top three favorite tops of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment. Let me know in the description below, what were your favorite top three that you got this year? I'd love to hear about it and just drop it down there so I can see it. Okay guys, it's not a Botter Builder episode without a live cop, so I do wanna show you guys the Supreme Cross Bogo live cop here in the next few minutes. Be sure to check that out. I didn't get a lot of footage on that drop just because my computer was lagging so bad with all these bots I was running, but I'll go ahead and show you what I did get, so stay tuned for that. Okay, we have the cross BOGO drop here in about 15 minutes. Um, we are running a plethora of bots today. We are bringing out the entire arsenal. It's gonna be Cyber, Kodai, Mech, F3 for Locks and Prism, as well as Swift Soul for iOS. So we're gonna see what happens. Let's just go ahead and dive into this and see how many we can get. Okay, we're live. Okay guys, so I do wanna do a few unboxings real quick. I'm gonna make this short and sweet though so you guys aren't just watching me open up a bunch of boxes. So I'm gonna to try to switch up these unboxings where they're a little more entertaining for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we only got six of these delivered so far. I just went through and checked all of my orders and all of them are still on the way. So 
I think the majority of them will be here here in a couple of days. So when they do, I'll be sure to update you guys. But what do you guys think about these Stussies? I actually think the black is very nice looking. This fossil is incredibly nice. Man, if you guys are on the fence about paying resale for this and you really like the shoe, I actually recommend it. I love this cream colorway. I'm a big fan of these guys. Seriously, now I'm almost thinking about like buying a pair. I don't know about that. Got lucky on these with Cyber the other day. I did get two more pairs of these Easy 500s. I'm not gonna show you the other pair just because we all know what they look like, but I did get one in my size. However, I've already had this shoe before and I sold it. This is from Kith. We did get the size 12 in the Nike Maze from Kith. You guys did see this in my live cop, I think two episodes ago. Shoe looks really big for some reason. Like this looks like a 13 to me. Okay, I kind of feel fortunate the other day to hit these because these are the reflective model. I did get these from Packer Shoes. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time when they popped up on the monitors, quick test, and hit a couple. Okay, guys, enough with the shoes. Let's get into some Supreme stuff. So we did get a few of the North Face Supreme uh, Nupsy jackets. So let's go ahead and unbox those. As I gotta tell you guys, this is my first time ever buying lipstick. And here it is. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. How do you open it? I guess it looks nice. I don't know anything about lipstick. That's actually, that's actually pretty cool. Like maybe I'll give it to my wife as like a stocking stuffer. We'll see what she says when she gets home. Look at this bag. This is a black medium, but it is so heavy. And guys, I had all my tasks set up for only black. I must have missed one because I ended up checking out a red, which is definitely not what I wanted. What do you guys think? Is it me? I will say this jacket is extremely soft. But I, I think I look like a Santa Claus snowman. I'm, it is super thick, super heavy. Definitely not like a typical Nepsi in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know guys. Um, if you're buying this, let me know in the comments. Cause I, I <laughs> Okay, I've had enough. I will say that on the inside, it's very nice. Uh, it's like a polyester material. I think the black would look super cool. I did get the blacks and the medium, so unfortunately they're not gonna fit me. But I would love to see what that would look like. Honestly though, I think that jacket is just too heavy, especially for the conditions that I live in. You know, maybe if I live in like Canada. But anyway guys, this pretty much wraps up this episode. This is episode 20, so we have came so far in only three months. So I just wanna thank everyone out there who has been a part of me since the beginning. Without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. Just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did like the content and follow me on my Twitter at Botter Builder. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.